Hello guys, today is the junior developer here and today we are going to learn how to make request using APIs. Also, in this case, we are, we are going to use uh, the Pexel API. So, all the prerequisites for this tutorial is that uh, you will need to get an API key. Also, for me, I have an API key that I've, uh, I've got from the API developer uh, of uh, Pexel. So just head over to, to pexels.com uh, and then go to slash API so you can grab your API key and then get back for the tutorial. So in this case we are going to we are going to learn about uh, making request API, API request uh, in Next. So Next basically is built on top of Vue.js. Uh, I don't know if you are familiar with Vue but uh, it's an amazing framework yeah so built on javascript uh, i think you love javascript so to create a i've uh, created my freshly v next js application here so or you if you need to create yours just you can use npm you can use the command npm create next app so what this will do it will create a boilerplate for your next application and uh, i think you should have node.js already installed if you haven't so without node it won't run because node uh, will provide the the environment for to run the to run the vue.js okay so head over then change the directory into your freshly created app and okay mm, yeah so for this project we're going to start the projects let's run npm npm run run dev so probably mine is running on the background so what npm run dev it, it will serve our it will serve our files and the next application into the browser so that we are able to view all the changes that we make okay so let's jump in and see what's there boom there is uh so we can add some styling if you want okay so let's jump in and make some a few fetch requests okay so before we proceed we need to to have a, a component called data so data probably should be should, should be a function that returns uh, returns some values okay so let's write this return sorry so first we'll have our API key here. API key should be here. Our API key. Okay, so let's grab it. Uh, if you are here, just you can follow along and uh, let's copy everything here. Okay, that's it. Yeah. So that's our API key. Then again, what we'll need, we'll um, we'll have what is called uh, created. So what created does is every time our page renders it will it will every time our page renders it will create the instance that is created within it so in this case we'll need uh every time our application is served uh, we need a created to run a fetch request to to pexel so that we can get a list of something so for this uh we can use a sync to make a synchronous call by using created then what you can do here okay uh, let's go to the api mm, to peg pixels okay 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 guidelines yeah. okay 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 authorization so before we proceed we need to authorize our request so for that we'll use the headers for this uh yeah all request makes the fish in CDR. So we need to provide authorization header for every request we make. So I think we can include that. Mm, let's let's have an authorization header. Have your const headers. Mm, no, no, no. Should be an object. Sorry, sorry. Authorization. Mm. So for this, 
here will be our API key. So for this reason, we use this to reference to, to the data and then go to our API underscore key. Yeah. So that this will be our authorization header. Then again, so for us to make the, the request to the API, we can use fetch uh, or axios, that is if you have axios already installed. But for this case, we are going to use fetch. Uh, later on, we will learn about how to use um, axios. So for axios, we will first need to import uh, the axios. Yeah, after importing the axios into our, into our file here, then we can use axios.get to fetch a request, that is, for fetching an, a request using get, we can either post, but for this instance, I think mm, I'm just going to use fetch. Okay. So const, mm, let's say this is the response. Mm, mm, we can use a way to make uh, for the synchronized call. I hit fetch. Yeah, so fetch here. Then we'll grab our API endpoint. That's uh, well, the URL of 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 our name of the url of our request so for this case we'll use a behave we'll use this url here just head on go and copy it mm, let's paste it here oh, and also you remember you remember our request needed the, the headers every time so for for every request to make so let's head over there and uh, let's make the headers okay so another problem is um, since we are using headers in our case um, we can uh, th this is not the preferred way of use of, uh, of putting up our APS key we can include in a dot nv environment but for this case I will just use this uh, as, as an example so no big deal for that then go to and this is our data so for our data again we we'll need to await so it will wait until the response is, is gotten from from the api that reason then can con console can console dot log to see to see what our data our data returns Let's go to our browser. Go to our mm, console is not defined. Okay, okay. I think we made an error. Our console.log. Okay. Let's replace it to console.log. Mm, yeah. I think it's now good. Let's go to our console. Oh. Yeah, there it is our data. So our data has been gotten back and we have logged it into the console here. As you can see, it's nested within next page, per page is one, per pages is one, per page is 80, and uh, our data is right here, into the photos here. So this is all we've got here, let's say here, yeah. Yeah. Photos, these are all the arrays of, the, of objects relating to our site. So... I think we can store this into 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 photos. Let's have a data call in our data. Let's have uh, photos here. Then I think it's good. Let's make it to be an array. Yeah. Yeah. So what we can do here is uh, we can store the information we got here into our photos for into our photos array. So how we'll do that is we'll say this. Uh, dot photos equals to no, 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 sorry for the value dot photos equals to data dot photos remember uh, why we are referencing to data dot photos is that in our API request if you if you are keen here um, you see all the information that we want that we wanted are in the photos so first we need to reference it to the dot photos photos array yeah so that's how we okay. just to confirm this we can, we can still use this confirm if it's stored there you can use this 
death photos yeah let's save cut uh, one you can see that boom there it is so you have succeeded succeeded in storing it into our into our photos array so that's a simple way to make an api request so what you'll just need is an api key yeah an api handpoint uh, and in some cases they are like pixels require every 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 request to be to be accompanied by an a header so for a header you will just follow along the the documentation which is very great over here yeah and it will just guide you on how to do it also they have a, a javascript library that you can just include and um, just to go along with it. but this this is the simple way to to make an api request yeah so that's it uh, in our next tutorial we're going to okay in our next tutorial we're going to learn how we can after how we can exploit data after we've gotten it from the api okay until next time